so we are taking a look this evening at a spooky old board game from 1984 by Milton Bradley, Mystery Mansion. One of my favorite games to look at. You can just see the scope of how this mansion just will spread itself out as you build it room by room. Goal of the game is to discover where the treasures are hidden inside of the mansion. You're going to be searching the rooms. There's a lot of detail on the room cards, and that's going to be important here um, as you're searching for the treasure chest. So you're going to play search cards, and you can see all these different items that could be in a room, such as there's a furnace in this one here. So if you're in this room, for example, searching, well, there's a furnace. So you're going to look, uh, see if by taking a clue card, if there's anything in that furnace for you. Now, there are some things here like uh, cobwebs. There's a treasure chest, which you're ultimately looking for, but you're going to need keys that are going to correspond to the treasure chest. Um, so in this example, if this was the chest you were looking at here, you're going to need a five and you're going to also need a six to open up that chest to take a look. Now, inside of each of these chests, and they're a little bit delicate, I've, I'm a little scared to open these sometimes. There's a little cobweb, so there'd be nothing in that chest. And inside of this one here, looks like no cob, yep, cobwebs in that one. I believe this one has the treasure, which you're going to want to find. I can get this open. And, yep, there is the treasure. So that ultimately is what you're looking for. Another thing is you'll find these secret passage cards and clues, and you're going to place a little plastic trap door down where you find it in the room, and then you're going to place one somewhere else. Players are going to be able to move through those trap doors um, and use them to get from one side to another. Now, when you're opening up a new room, you're going to have to open the door. And sometimes the doors are locked, sometimes they're open, so every time this happens, you're going to roll a die. So when a player does find a treasure chest, they're going to be able to move around with it. Now, you're not going to know, and they're going to try to get out, but only if they've got the key. They can't do anything with the chest unless they have both keys. So there's going to be a bit of lack of trust going on when somebody gets a chest. So they may, people may try to steal it. They may have a key that doesn't work in their chest, etc., etc. Um, so, you know, the other thing is that is really there are some downsides and, and the rule book is one of them um, the first page is about how to put together all these um, platforms which luckily I didn't have to do but this isn't a difficult game but the rules make it a little bit difficult um, and obviously there are some downsides of this game um, but all in all I think that it's a really neat looking game Mystery Mansion, ooh, from 1984. Now to rate the game, my ratings are based on sheep and wood. Sheep are three, wood are one. Components, we've talked about the plastic little stairs and the plastic trap doors and the three-dimensional tiles, which are all nice. Artwork, front box is really nice. Um, the room tiles are really good. The card art is pretty lacking, which brings that score down. Also, the rule book, not so great. But the theme ranks very high. Replayability is about midway. You're going to get a little bit out of that. The gameplay itself, there's some ambiguity with the cards, which you're going to notice. Not a whole lot of strategy, really. But, yeah, it is a fun game. Um, I like it. I like picking it up probably about once a year and playing it, maybe twice, especially around Halloween.